you can find almost anything here at SEMA and I'm standing in front of what I think is a truck. I don't know, this thing is so customized. I'm Jessica Barton, joined by Kevin Tully and we gotta talk about this ride. Yeah, uh, this is a Cosmic Outcast. It started life as a 1944 truck cab. Tried to keep track of how many cars, parts we've used. Uh, pretty much everything on the vehicle is uh, at least 1964 or earlier. Uh, there's 22 different cars that we've used to uh, production cars that we use pieces from to, to construct the body. Um, it's got a stroked 59 Olds 371 rocket in it, uh, blower, 62 barrel, Holley 94s. Uh, we use the Aeromotive uh, Phantom fuel system on it. Matter of fact, uh, Jesse sent us the second one that they had off the production line. Uh, when we saw it at SEMA last year, um, I went ballistic over it. I always like to say that when you build something like this, it's 10 pounds of stuff in a two pound can. And uh, you know, the Phantom fuel pump, the, uh, the outlet, the, the vent, and the uh, return line all come out at a 90 degree angle to the top of the tank. So you know, we're used to having to have four or five inches over the tank to get the fuel lines out. And with this one, we need like an inch and a quarter. Let's talk about your relationship with Aeromotive. Like you said, you've spoken with Jesse plenty of times. I mean, you have a great relationship and you guys done a lot of projects with them. Yeah, we, uh, when we did the uh, Rebested GTOR a few years ago, um, we used uh, a couple of other products that they had that were, that were first off. And uh, that car made 705 horsepower at the crank and it pulled like a freight train all the way to 7,000 RPM. Um, the Tangerine Scream that we built a few years ago, they had an eight Stromberg carburetors on top of an 871 blower on a Hemi. Um, again, low fuel pressure requirement, pound and a half, two pounds, but uh, needed plenty of fuel and volume and he was able to tailor that um, and on and on and on. I don't think there's a vehicle We've been open 10 years this coming May, and uh, I really kind of can't think of a vehicle that we've built that didn't have aeromotive systems on it. And, uh, you know, they're a Midwestern company, so the people that work there, and not that companies in other parts of the country aren't, but Midwesterners tend to be incredibly friendly and very knowledgeable. The, the amount of engineering and versatility that they're able to do for us, uh, I'll, I'll call him and say we need this, but we don't have that. Let's do some R&D and see if we can build that for you. And sometimes it ends up being a product that they'll sell. So. It's really nice having a company like that. Well, you gotta love a company with a great family feel and one that you can build a close relationship with like these guys. Check out aeromotiveinc.com for all the information.